Good morning, everyone. We were waiting for a few more attendees to dial in, but I think that the group is big enough for us to start. So first of all, hello and welcome uh, to today's webinar. As you can see, the three of us are already there, the whole Allegro team, and uh, we are going to talk about opportunities waiting for you in Poland, in Central Eastern Europe, and particularly on Allegro. So uh, let me introduce your today's speakers and tell you what we're gonna do. My name is Emilia Gregorczyk. I'm a business development partner at Allegro. And basically my job is to work on sourcing and business development projects within EEA, Turkey, the UK and the US. So I want to basically get as many of you guys as possible onto Allegro. And together with me today, we've got Kasia and Michal. Uh, guys, would you like to introduce yourselves shortly? <laughs> sure thing. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Kasia and I am responsible for Allegro Academy, uh, which is a space that we created um, with Allegro experts to teach everyone who joins us all about the platform. Uh, so we create courses, webinars, tutorials, anything and everything that you guys need. Uh, to feel comfortable on the platform and to know how to succeed. Hello, my name is Michał Kwitniewski and I'm responsible for One Fulfillment Service and I'm going to say a few words about uh, new service uh, to help you uh, improve sales on the platform. Perfect. And before we get started, and we're very excited to have you guys with us here today, a few housekeeping rules, um, just a couple. Uh, first of all, I will turn chat moderation on right now. Uh, it is on right now. Uh, the way this works is you can still ask as many questions as you want, and we welcome all your questions. We just want to keep the public chat um, a space that's reserved for those questions that we're going to answer. So. Uh, Please ask any questions that you want. I will be monitoring the uh, moderated chat and I'll just move all your questions to the public chat. And at the end of this webinar, um, we will have a dedicated Q&A session where we'll hopefully be able to answer all the questions that you guys have. Um, also, uh, usually we do not really uh, share recordings of our presentations, but if you guys want after this webinar, um, you will get a thank you email from us. If you reply to that email and you need a recording, uh, we'll see what we can do for you. I think that's all right, team. Yeah, thank you very much, Kasia. Thank you, Michal. So the roadmap for today is, first of all, uh, talk about the expansion opportunities in the region. And that is going to be covered by myself. Then Kasia will tell you how to do some magic on the Allegro platform. And uh, last but not least, uh, Michal, as he's already mentioned, will tell you more about our newest and really exciting uh, service that we introduced. And that is One Fulfillment by Allegro. So without further ado, let me jump to uh, my part. Uh, so giving you a bit of an idea of what kind of expectations you might have when thinking about expanding to Central and Eastern Europe. Why? In our opinion, Poland is the go-to market if you want to expand in this region. And in order to do that, obviously, you will need to find out more about uh, the customers. That are, uh, that are here in Poland. And then last but not least, obviously, why in our opinion, Allegro is the best way to expand in this particular country. First of all, obviously, you know what happened over the last couple of years with the Corona, the e-commerce markets across different countries were just booming. And uh, overall, in 2021, we've noticed a B2C um, turnover growth across the whole Europe. It's not a surprise to say that Western European, European countries take the biggest share of this turnover. And uh, when it comes to Central and Eastern Europe, we're talking about approximately 12% of this whole European e-commerce turnover. Some of you might think, yeah, so what's so amazing about this region 
if Western Europe takes such a big share? Well, first of all, Western European uh, markets are more saturated, of course, whereas in this part of Europe, what is really interesting is the fact that Eastern Europe alone has experienced higher growth rates in B2C e-commerce sales than many Western European countries, which basically means that in this part of Europe, we see a faster growth. And that's probably the place where you might want to go with your products. Let's now jump onto Poland, which is our main market, our main focus for today. Poland's got uh, approximately 38 million inhabitants and uh, around 30 million internet users. Out of those, as many as 77% shop online. So in terms of the number of customers you might potentially reach in the country, that's already something interesting. But what I find particularly enjoyable is looking at forecasts regarding the growth of the e-commerce sector in Poland. So let me show you some studies done by Strategy and PwC. What you can see on this chart is the forecasted growth of the e-commerce market sector um, by 2027. This is shown in the Polish currency, that is Polish Zloty. And what you will notice here is a huge jump between 2021 and 2027, which actually is kind of like doubling the value of the market. And that is down to many different reasons. First of all, Poland is really nicely located. It works as a great connector between Western Europe and Central and Eastern Europe. It acts kind of like a European hub for both IT and logistics. And basically, the wages are increasing, uh, the financial situation of the population is improving very fast, and the country as such is developing at a really nice pace, making it a particularly attractive market to expand to. But like I said at the beginning, if you want to expand to Poland, you need to know how to conquer the hearts of Polish consumers. So let me now introduce you to those Polish buyers that hopefully will become uh, your future customers. First, um, some demographic data. So what we've prepared for you here is the data based on this year's studies uh, by uh, Gemius. And uh, looking just at gender, you can see that there is a pretty even split between men and women when it comes to Polish online buyers. The biggest group is between 35 and 49 years old. And the vast majority of the society is educated with as many as 40% having higher education. The majority of Polish online buyers live either in bigger towns or in really big cities. And um, apart from that, we've noticed a really interesting trend, namely, <clears throat> during the pandemic, the interest in online shopping for older age, age groups, that is people above 55, increased by 12%. And this group started being described as a silver generation. More and more of them use social media and way more than 90% claim to use electronic banking, which makes this age group much more willing and much more ready to become proper e-shoppers compared to the situation from a few years ago. So keep that in mind when thinking about expansion. And of course, do not forget about the youngest generations that are entering the market. So you might want to keep a closer eye on, on um, the youngest consumers, as obviously they will be shaping the future of the e-commerce market in the country in the long run. In terms of finances, I've already mentioned that briefly. In general, the wages are increasing in Poland and the recent governmental study shows that uh, the yearly median income in Poland turns out to be the highest in the Central Eastern Europe. So that means that an average poor has much more disposable income than they used to have and they are more willing to invest money on high quality goods. 
with as many as 93% of polls describing their financial situation as either average or good. So basically, they do have the resources to uh, shop online. And they are very, very willing to do that. Obviously, COVID had a huge impact on that. As a result of the pandemic, many customers started buying online more often than they used to. And they started buying much more products online, including those items that they didn't, didn't even think of buying online before the pandemic. What is really interesting for me personally, though, is the last bit in this orange graph that shows the huge increase in those online buyers who decide that online shopping is their default mode of shopping. The reasons why polls like buying online so much is first of all, the availability. Online shops are, are available 24 seven. They don't really get closed and it's much faster to get the goods and it's usually cheaper. It's quite reasonable because polls can just uh, monitor different deals across different uh, platforms, different sellers and so on and choose the things that work best for them. And now let me take you to another part that will show you some interesting trends typical for the Polish e-commerce market. In 2021, the marketplace share was at around 45%. What we see, however, and this is again based on the research done by Strategy and PwC, is that by 2027, the share of marketplaces in the whole Polish e-commerce is expected to excess 55%. All of that means that, in general, e-commerce platforms and marketplaces are becoming much more popular. So that's probably where more and more customers will be moving. But then there's something even more interesting for me. And that is 75% of Polish consumers buy from domestic e-shops and only 32% buy from foreign ones. That is something of huge importance for you as international sellers. Because what this means is that, first of all, Polish online shoppers prefer buying from companies they know from companies that make them feel confident and the brands that they trust. And on top of that, they expect the content to be in Polish. So localizing your content well is definitely a good idea. And then thinking about ways of entering the market through companies that are already well established on this market might be a good idea. And that obviously takes us to the Allegro topic. Why do we think that Allegro is the best way to do it? Apart from the fact that obviously we all work for Allegro, is the fact that Allegro has a very strong position on the Polish market. What you can see on this slide is the result of uh, the research showing spont spontaneous recognizability of e-commerce platforms. What happened here is basically um, Polish online shoppers were asked to spontaneously name an e-commerce platform. And as many as 85% of them in the first place indicated Allegro. The second place belongs to OLX, which is another Polish player, C2C player, but yet another one, which actually is uh, very consistent with what I told you about um, discussing the previous slide. And only later on, we've got Zalando, Amazon, and AliExpress. So that shows you where these people are. And moving to where they are, let me show you where they start looking for products. As many as 30% of Polish online buyers start looking for products directly on Allegro, compared to only 18% who start looking for products on Google. What this effectively means is that in Poland, Allegro is a more popular search engine when it comes to product search than Google. But it will get even more interesting. Take a look where these guys end up buying their stuff. What you can see here means that nearly every third 
Polish buyer starts their product search directly on our marketplace. And almost all of them, because we are talking about 91%, end up buying on Allegro as soon as they get there. Out of those who started on Google, more than a half, as many as 57%, still go back to Allegro and end up buying products there. What this means for you as an international seller who would like to enter the market is that you are much more likely to reach Polish customers through Allegro than through any other media in the country. And why is that so? First of all, Polish buyers can browse across 250 million offers coming from all categories, from more than 135 million Polish and international sellers. So that gives them a huge choice and many buying opportunities. And that translates to a traffic of approximately 22 million visits every single month on the platform. And if you would like to find out how many true Allegro addicts we've got, then it's around 13.6 million regular customers who keep coming back and buying on Allegro every single month on a regular basis. These numbers refer to Poland only, obviously, we are talking about Poland all the time, but Allegro is actually a great place for you to start your expansion in the Central Eastern European region. And why is that so? Because we as a platform started expanding internationally. And uh, let me mention two most exciting uh, projects of this year related to international expansion. And that is the acquisition of Mall Group and We Do uh, that we fin finalized in April. And what this means is expanding our reach to five additional countries in the region. And these countries are Czechia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Hungary, and Croatia. We are now integrating these uh, countries, these markets, and we will be rolling them out one by one, starting with Czechia next year. Effectively giving you in the future access to six countries in the region, thanks to the Allegro Group uh, platform. And then we also introduced international delivery to 24 EU countries also this year, which means that now both Polish and inter international sellers can list their offers in English on an international Allegro domain and sell them to buyers from those other 24 EU countries. Sellers can decide which countries they want to go for. And this way, you can also consider testing other markets through the newest domain of, um, of Allegro. Right, so let me pause here for a second um, and let you digest all of that. I hope that what I've said already persuaded you that first of all, Central and Eastern Europe is an exciting market. Poland is a particularly interesting place to go to and a really um, good starting point for the expansion in the whole region. And Allegro is the best way to start this expansion. But you might be wondering about practicalities. Is it really difficult to start on Allegro or how do you even start? So my answer would be not so difficult. First of all, we are an open marketplace, meaning that we welcome companies from all over the world uh, of all sizes and selling across all of our 14 main product categories, with probably thousands of subcategories. So you are definitely uh, going to find uh, a subcategory for your products. On that note, you can register an Allegro account using your international VAT number. We may be a Polish company, but you don't need a Polish VAT number to register your Allegro account. You can use your international VAT number, which makes it very, very easy. Then there are no registration fees on Allegro. So you open an account free of charge and you can basically see how Allegro works for you without worrying that you need to pay in advance to even start and you don't know whether this is going to bring any profit to you. There are no listing fees in most of Allegro categories. There are just a couple of them that, uh, that uh, do that, but 
my experience, they hardly ever apply to international sellers. So as a default, uh, we could say there are no listing fees, meaning that A, you enter the platform for free, B, you list products free of charge, as many of them as you'd like, and you see how they sell. On that note, uh, let me mention that you can list your products through four different ways. First of all, of course, the Allegro backend, so listing manually. The backend is available in English in case any of you were wondering. You can list manually. Then you can use CSV files. You can also build a direct API connection if you are um, a company that's got the resources and uh, would like to fully integrate their own internal systems with Allegro, you can do it. Our API is open. We've got all the documentation uh, available and support teams to help you out with that. And the fourth way is integrating via a third party integrator of your choice. Now, going back to fees, because so far, everything for free, everything for free, but at some point you will be charged. So let me tell you when. You will be charged only when you start selling because we are based on uh, success fees. This is a commission-based marketplace. The commission ranges somewhere between 5 and 15%, uh, with 15% being a very rare one, really. Um, or in case you decide to use some additional Allegro services that are optional, by that I mean different marketing tools or uh, Allegro subscriptions that are optional, these are not mandatory. You pay for commission if you sell and you pay for additional options if you decide to use them. And before I mention the last exciting thing on this slide, um, in case you were wondering, the money you earn on Allegro, on Allegro will be stored um, in your e-wallet that will be set up for you upon registration by our payment service providers being PayU and P24. And the money will be paid out to your bank account that you use um, for payouts. A very important point th here though, remember that you will get payouts in the Polish currency. So make sure that the bank you use will accept Polish Zloty. And now, for new companies, as yourselves, we hope, we have lots of interesting benefits. We always have a welcome program for new sellers, and this involves different bits and pieces. This could be uh, huge discounts on commission fees in your first months, or free promo tools, or access to some Allegro services free of charge. I am not going to go into details here because Kasia will tell you more about it. But basically what this means is that at the very beginning of your Allegro journey, we give you loads of things free of charge or with reduced uh, fees to help you have a strong start, test the tools and build your visibility and presence on Allegro. So to wrap up my part, let me just sum up apart from all the Allegro features, why basically expanding with marketplaces is so convenient. What you've probably already noticed is the fact that you have a direct access to a large base of consumers. The traffic is already there. These people know the platform. They are willing to make another purchase. So it's much easier for you. Then, because this platform is already established, it helps you overcome cross-border barriers of entry. You don't need to invest in infrastructure because this is already there, ready for you. The solutions are provided. And remember about this slide where Polish people buy their products and that they prefer domestic brands? With Allegro being so well established on the market, you already have this kind of level of trust built between you as a seller and the buyer on the Polish market. So it's much easier for you to sell your products. Thanks to that, you can test that. You can list different products and see how they are received. If your offer is well received, you can scale your business easily. If it's not, then such a testing doesn't involve a big cost because you don't need to provide all this infrastructure yourself. You can access different customer groups 
thanks to the fact that Allegro caters for the needs of different buyers across all those categories. And last but not least, you don't need to do all of that on your own because we as a platform provide a multitude of educational resources, support teams, promotion tools, sales management tools, dashboards that help you monitor your performance, give you tips on what to improve, and basically help you out to make it easier for you and to help you grow. And that's where I am going to stop and pass the mic to Kasia, who's going to tell you more about Welcome Program and the magic on Allegra. Thanks, Amelia. Um, hi again, guys. Uh, our topic today is your Allegro cheat sheet, platform tips and tricks. And let me tell you why I decided to uh, cover this topic. Um, here's the thing. Uh, because I work in Allegro Academy and that means I create educational resources on a daily basis, I talk to you guys, I look at the data about your sales, um, I see where international sellers uh, don't measure up to our domestic sellers from Poland, or I see the areas where you guys uh, exceed those expectations. And based on that, I decided to basically give you a list of topics that I think are going to be the most important for you to focus on if you decide to join us. And of course, we could go through the uh, list of just your first steps. This is how you list your offer. This is where you click. And I've seen your questions as, as the chat moderator today. Uh, we are going to answer those questions during the Q&A session. So no worries if you've got basic questions about, okay, where do I click for that? Or, you know, how do I list this item? No problem at all. However, today what I want to do is just highlight the topics that I know you guys struggle with. I don't want you to struggle with them. Uh, and I want you to pay attention to them the most so you can succeed and actually have your most successful store yet uh, on our platform. So without further ado, uh, the first thing that I really want you to remember is that you can count on our support basically at every stage of the way. First of all, we've got an amazing onboarding team uh, that is available to all of you. Um, in um, later after the webinar, uh, you may want to contact them because basically the way it works is you get a dedicated person. All you need to do is just fill out some basic data and you get a dedicated person who helps you out and who walks you through the registration process, the verification process, and then listing your first offer. Really helpful because you've got this one point of contact who speaks your language because they speak multiple languages um, and who can walk you through everything step by step and who can help you out. Then later, if and when uh, you grow as a seller on Allegro, you can count on a key account manager um, who will help you boost sales even more. And this is really important because you can join partnership programs that are dedicated to our brands or biggest sellers, VIPs, right? So as you grow, you'll get more opportunities. And again, a dedicated person uh, who wants you to grow. Also, we've got educational resources. And again, I'm going to pitch Allegra Academy to you guys because I really think that it's a space that um, we've created to be as helpful as possible for you. We've got topics for beginners. We've got topics for people who are a little bit more advanced already, uh, courses, live webinars, tutorials, anything and everything that you guys need. Every month, I have a live Q&A session where you can just come in and ask me anything and everything. And I'm very happy to answer. So if you would like uh, to join Allegro Academy, uh, all you need is just an Allegro account and then you can use everything for free. Also, we've got a help center, of course. So if you're looking for quick answers to questions, if you're looking for a help center articles, so we've got the help center available in Polish and English, uh, soon hopefully in Czech as well. Then, of course, um, you can count on uh, a tool that we've got that is called Allegro Analytics, uh, which is a sales statistics tool based on our data that can show you pretty much everything that we can legally show you as a publicly traded company about your own sales and about the sales on the platform. So this is a tool that is built into the account. 
uh, all you need is just an active subscription plan and we can talk about that later. But basically, um, Allegro Analytics is a tool that can help optimize your sales strategy. And with the next topic that we're going to cover, um, you'll see that you have enough time at the start of your Allegro journey uh, to check out those statistics, to see how everything looks in the category that you want to sell in, and then make your uh, decisions about your sales strategy then. Also, uh, last but not least, we've got a site called the Service Provider Network. And this is where you can find a list of verified partners that we've got who can help you with anything that we regretfully cannot help you with. So if you need a translation service for your offers, or if you need help with logistics, um, or if you would like to find an integrator, like uh, Emilia mentioned, uh, you can find everything um, that you need on the service provider network. And now, I promised that I would tell you a little something about what happens when you get started um, on the platform. After you register, I really want you guys to remember this. Um, every new company that joins us gets a welcome program. And it's vital that you guys activate it because you get it a couple of days after you uh, your uh, account is verified, but it doesn't get activated automatically. So I need you to remember to press the button to make sure that you get all the benefits. And it's important that you do because those benefits really do matter. Uh, the most important one that you guys are going to care for the most is right now, because this may change next year if you decide to join us a little bit later. Uh, but right now, what the program program entails is it gives you 100% of a sales commission refund for the first 90 days on the platform. Really important and makes selling on the platform practically risk-free in the beginning. Uh, additionally, you get other benefits. So you get access to promotion tools. You get a budget for uh, a paid advertising campaign. So you can check out how that works. Uh, you get a subscription plan. Um, we've got optional ones that you can choose from. And with this, you can check it out. You can see if it works for you. And you can access Allegro Analytics, which is that tool I told you about, which uh, will help you monitor your sales and the sales of other people on Allegro. So this is going to be the number one thing that I need you to activate when you get started. And please do it as soon as possible, because if I get it today and I activate it today, it will be valid for 90 days. If I get it today, but I activate it tomorrow, then it will be active for 89 days. All right. So just make sure that you activate it as soon as possible. Of course, if you've got a little bit of a hiccup in the beginning, you verify the account, but your company is not ready to sell yet and you miss out on using the welcome program, don't worry, contact our customer service team, ask them to renew that welcome program for you. And if you haven't used it, then they will grant it back to you. All right. So important stuff. Now, what else is important when it comes to Allegro? And this is something that uh, I see international sellers struggle with in the beginning because they don't know just how vital this is. And Amelia has already told you that when it comes to Polish customers, they really care about delivery, not only the time, but also the price. So let's focus on the time in the beginning. Um, one of our teams decided to do some research. They basically looked at customers who added products to their cart from international sellers. Then they checked how many of them actually bought that product depending on the delivery time in that product, okay? So what they found is that when the delivery time is 48 hours or less, then there's usually a 50-ish percent chance that someone will buy that product. This is normal for pretty much all marketplaces. Someone clicking add to cart doesn't equal, you know, them buying it. There's still a lot of decisions that they need to make, but this is our base, okay? However, what I need you to also remember is that right now, our average when it comes to delivery time from international sellers is around seven days. And that can impact your chance to sell your product significantly. Take a look at this uh, table. We've got three uh, categories here, electronics, sports and leisure, and kids. These are, these are just three examples that I decided to show you guys. Uh, and as you can see, if we've got a delivery time up to 48 hours, then that chance of selling is around 50%, like I said. If that delivery time drops to even three to four days, then suddenly that chance to sell is between 35 and 38%. Not amazing, right? Because you lose out on those customers. 
And then if we're talking about a delivery between seven and 10 days, which is again, the average that we see from you guys right now, uh, that chance can drop even down to 16.25% in sports and leisure. So this is going to be category specific. Some customers are willing to wait a little longer. Some are willing to wait uh, less. But as you can see, delivery time is really, really going to be uh, something that impacts your chance to sell uh, on Allegro. However, like we already said, it's not just about the delivery time, it's also about the price. And this is where Allegro Smart comes in. And this is where I need you to pay the most attention, okay? Because this is something that can really change the game for you on Allegro, even if you're already on our platform. This is a loyalty program. And the way it works for customers is as a customer on Allegro, I can get Allegro Smart for a month or for a year. I can pay not a significant fee. And then for that month or for that year, I can get free deliveries anytime I buy something that has that Allegro Smart label. So if I buy something from a seller who has Allegro Smart enabled, I get the delivery for free. This is huge. Um, for Allegro customers. And this is something that can really change the game for you as well. This is a method that is co-financed. So that's something that you need to uh, keep in mind. Allegro covers most of those delivery costs because it pays off for us still, right? We want customers to buy on more, uh, to buy more, uh, more and more. And then you guys pay, pay a small amount based on the order value. So this is something to keep in mind because it will be an additional thing, right? But it really does pay off and I'll tell you why. Uh, first of all, uh, smart really does boost your sales. It attracts customers who are way more active than other customers on Allegro, and they buy 2.5 times more often than other customers. Also, we've got over 5 million subscribers in Smart right now, and this number keeps on growing really quickly. Uh, like Amelia said, we've got 13.6 active customers on Allegro. 5 million of them already have Smart, and they are the target demographic that you want to hit because they are the most active. Also, um, this is a service that gets a really good score uh, from our customers. It's got one of the highest of all our services and 92. So you know that it's something that our customers really care about. Um, also, uh, stay tuned because Mihao is going to tell you more about One Fulfillment, of course. Uh, and if you join our fulfillment service, then joining Smart can be much easier. Why? Because not everyone can join Smart. These are the basic requirements that your account needs to meet if you would like to join uh, the service. Some of them very basic. You need to just conform with our terms of service, which means you cannot have a blocked account. Uh, you need to pay for invoices on time. You need to uh, send customer email addresses to logistic companies um, correctly. No problem. However, there's one problem for beginner sellers especially, right? You need to get at least five unique positive reviews, so from other customers, different customers, and you need to have a 98% buy recommendation score. This can be something a little scary in the beginning. And that is why my team, Allegro Academy, decided to create a course about Allegro Smart that will show you everything that you need to know about the service so you know if it's something that you're interested with, uh, interested in. And if you are, if you completed that course, so you answer some of the questions that we've got, we do very short quizzes to make sure that you guys are there and you know listening to what we've got to tell you. If you complete that course, you can skip this requirement. This is for new accounts. So if you your account is um, not older than four months, then you can complete that course and you can join Smart without needing to meet this requirement. And this is really the only problematic one. So you don't need to worry. Uh, also, a technical thing that is important to note, if you would like to join Smart, um, you will need to send your uh, assortment from specific places. It's the easiest from within Poland, of course. So if you've got a warehouse in Poland or use One Fulfillment, wink, wink, uh, then of course you can join Smart easily. But you can also join it if you send your products from uh, Czechia, Germany, France, or the Netherlands. Okay, so these are the four countries where if you've got assortment there, you can also join the smart service. All right, uh, next thing that is really, really going to be important to you guys is the sales quality panel. And this is something that a lot of people skip, even Polish um, sellers who have known us for 20 plus years. Um, and it is such a shame because my whole presentation is called the Allegro Cheat Sheet. This is that cheat sheet. 
this is where you can check what you need to do exactly uh, to succeed on Allegro. Why? Because this is where we show you metrics um, that are grouped into five areas that we care about the most, that our algorithm cares about the most. And this is where you can check how you're doing compared to other sellers. And the better you do here, the better your score, the higher your offers will be in search results. Really important because even if you promote on Allegro, um, you still need to compete with quite a few uh, merchants, right? Quite a few sellers. So what you can do and what I would suggest you do um, is visit that sales quality panel. It's in your account. You can find it very easily. It's called My Sales Quality. And once you find it, just take a look at the metrics that we check. And this is what you should focus on as a seller if you would like to succeed on the platform. So um, everything that you see there is going to be something that the algorithm takes a look at when it decides if your offer should be on page one or on page 10, all right? And um, speaking of what's important, two of the five areas that we count in that sales quality have something to do with customer service. Uh, customer service on Allegro is key. Um, it's not going to be something that you know, wins you a lot of sales, but it is something that is crucial if you would like to run a successful business. Uh, from customers, you'll get messages and you'll get discussions, which are essentially disputes. For both of these uh, types of messages, you've got 24 hours to reply, apart from weekends and bank holidays. So um, you may want to think about setting an automatic uh, replay, uh, reply, for example, if you know that your team is somewhere that has a widely different uh, time zone than Poland. Um, anyway, you've got 24 hours to reply and it really is important that you do because like I said, this is connected to the sales quality panel. So if you lose points in your customer service, that can even impact your visibility on the platform. So your offers will not be on page one that you fought for so hard. They can now be on page five and this is not somewhere that people look at. So, um, and if you don't take care of those discussions, if you don't reply to people, uh, your account can even be suspended. And that's something that is just not great for anyone. So uh, make sure that you reply to those messages. Thankfully, in the message center that we've got, we already have an automated translation. So you don't need to have a team that speaks Polish. Uh, you can reply in English, for example, and the customer can just click a button and that message will be uh, translated for them. All right, another thing that uh, I want you guys to remember is to prepare your offers well. And of course, we can go through all the um, all the rules here, but one, we don't have the time, and two, you're not going to remember. Uh, so these are the most important ones that I want you to remember. First, offers should be prepared in Polish for now. Uh, at the beginning of next year, hopefully you'll be able to uh, create them in English, and then we will um, give you an automatic translation to Polish. You can already do that if you are connected to us via API, okay? So if you're using um, API, if you've got a developer team who can do that for you, then you can already list your products in English and they will be translated into Polish. For all the other options, so listing through our form, for example, you will need to wait until next year. Also, make sure that your titles that you create are short and informative and actually talk about the product. Our search engine looks at the titles, but it also looks at parameters, so the attributes of the product that you can add or that are added if what you're selling is on our product catalog. So you don't need to add all the keywords of the world into the title so the search engine picks it up. It looks at the parameters, so make sure that the title actually captures the attention of the buyer, that they know what they are going to buy if they click on it, and that's going to be uh, the most important. Also, your thumbnail, the first picture that you add to your offer, needs to be on a, on a white background. Um, this is key, and if you don't do it, then your offer may be suspended, not something that we want. All right, last but not least, um, promotion tools. We're not going to talk much about them unless you guys have more um, detailed questions later during the Q&A, but this is what I want you to know. You don't, need to, uh, uh, you don't need to use all the options that we've got. 
uh, they're going to be dependent on the type of company that you've got. If you've got your own brand, if you're a big store, if you're just beginning, um, they're going to be tailored to your strong points. You don't need to use all of them uh, because that is the shortest way to just spend a lot of money and don't see a lot of return, okay? On the slide that you're going to get, of course, after the presentation, because you'll get the, the slides sent to your email address, um, you can just take a look at this list that I created for you with options that I think are good for beginners and with options that I would say are good to take a look at later. Um, and this is what you can use in the beginning just to, you know, when you're starting out and when you want to see what options you can choose, um, this is where um, I would like you to, to start looking. All right. And I think that's going to be it for me. I really hope that this was useful to you guys. I'll be back to chat moderation for now. Uh, and I'll give the floor to Michal. Thank you. Uh, hello again. My name is Michal Kwietniewski. I'm responsible for supporting newcomers uh, in accordance with One Food Fiment uh, at Allegro. Uh, probably you will meet me uh, all the time if you uh, decide to choose uh, cooperation uh, with One Food Fiment by Allegro. And I'm going to say something about uh, what are we offering and uh, what is going on uh, with One Food Fiment. Uh, we are offering you a service to reduce uh, order time and improve your customer shopping experience on the platform. Of course, I mean uh, shopping on the Allegro platform. You don't have to contract any carriers. You will be able to offer your customers a wide range uh, of delivery methods and same day or the next day delivery option. Uh, in one fulfillment, we take over storage, fulfillment and packaging shipping, returns management, order status uh, queries, returns management only in basic uh, option and I will describe why in basic option later. After your buyers decide to return goods, they both, we collect them for you in our warehouse and send them back to the destination you show us. We only put non-defective products uh, for resale. How do we handle your products uh, and orders? The Allegro warehouse, which is located in central Poland, Adamov near Warsaw, is ready to handle and ship thousands of packages a day. We will carefully receive your delivery and lay out the merchandise in warehouse. Fulfill every order and prepare it for shipping. Your orders will be packed in eco-friendly packaging, of course. Mm. The orders will be shipped to the buyer the same or the next day uh, delivery, which is really important, as uh, Kasia said before. Uh, we will take pre and after sales service. I mean, answering queries for uh, from buyers uh, about product availability, st status and delivery time. We'll take over returns management. As I said before, only in mentioned basic uh, version. We cannot offer for now um, something like repackaging or ironing clothes. Uh, but if you are interested in this type of uh, service, just let us know. Um, um, defective, uh, the, the defective products will be sent back to you. Of course, uh, destination you show us uh, before. We will assume responsibility for any damage, including damage in transit from the moment the products are accepted for storage in our warehouse. We will be fully, you will be fully compensated um, the listed net amount for every item damage. You don't have to be worried, uh, you can lose something. Uh, we will answer customer queries regarding delivery methods and times shipment, order cancellation, changing in the delivery address, issue with uh, parcel delivery, damage in transit, uh, and product returns. You can always monitor the status of your orders at all times in the panel uh, on your account uh, at Allegro. Something about which is really important, uh, as uh, Kasia mentioned before, the um, faster delivery. Orders will be delivered to your customers even the same or the next day. Uh, this is possible because we work with different delivery companies and ship orders late into the evening. I mean, orders placed uh, by 8 p.m. will already reach your customer the next day. We have some plans for future, of course. In some regions, 
uh, this time will be extended to 11 p.m. and probably in Łódź and Warsaw area, even to uh, 2 a.m. with same day delivery. Really important for your buyers. There is also you know, some logistic benefits. You can offer your customer a wide choice of delivery methods without to need to negotiate and to sign contract with different carriers. You also don't need to worry about shipping limits. We ensure that your packages are also shipped during peak sales season. Actually, the biggest one is coming. Uh, late hours for uh, same day shipping orders, I mean 8 p.m., will extend your sales uh, hours and your customers will receive their orders faster. They will also be uh, able to enjoy same day delivery if they pay uh, for the uh, orders by 10 a.m. or even uh, 1 p.m. for orders delivered in Warsaw. Uh, it's super exciting when you can receive your orders uh, the same day delivery. It's not super standard on the market, actually. In addition, orders placed on Saturday or uh, Sunday by 1 p.m. will already be delivered on Monday. That means we work during the weekend too in our warehouse. Uh, Continuing in contact about your shipping, we will answer your customer question about the orders and product availability. We will be at their disposal from 7 a.m. to midnight, seven days a week, of course. Moreover, we can also handle queries in English, hopefully in the future in Chinese and other languages too. And of course, uh, uh, it's really important uh, to have cheaper or even uh, free delivery. We bundle your customer's order with products from other merchants. Uh, that way your customers will save uh, on delivery rate money. Uh, and complete safety, you can hand uh, your products over to us without fear. We protect the product uh, we receive uh, at all stages of order processing. We assume full responsibility for them, including for any damage in transit uh, to buyer. You don't have to worry about this subject. And about Allegro Smart, as Kasia mentioned before, it's super easy to uh, join this program. Uh, of course, smart is something that clients love and they get a free delivery option. Buyers pay for the subscription as uh, a result they can order goods and don't have to pay extra for the for delivery. Uh, the seller has to meet a few conditions to keep the smart label on the offers. Don't worry, we will help you with that. We will send you a special invitation to the course of how to get a smart badge and after that we'll mark, we, we will mark your offers by smart super easy to to get and uh, there is of course a lot of question uh, via chat about how much uh, does one fulfillment cost uh, under the special welcome offer you will not pay additional fees for the first month i mean if you start now promotion and uh, by the end of this year after that period, you will be charged according to the price list. The basic fee includes storage for uh, up to 30 calendar days, order fulfillment, packaging, uh, preparing for shipment, uh, echo boxes, of course, and protection and uh, padding uh, too. Uh, cost on your side uh, is transport of goods to uh, and eventually from the Allegro warehouse um, if you want to take them back. Uh, other costs according to applicable Allegro fees, in example, the cost of the platform uh, used like sales commission, you have to pay uh, extra. Mm. Really important information about uh, what products can you ship to us. In one fulfillment, we handle products that uh, are approved for uh, sale on Allegro, are linked to a product um, from the catalog uh, Allegro. Uh, of course, are brand new and have a correct scannable and official JTIN number, one of them, EN, ISBN, or ISSN, uh, never mind. You are, um, the product cannot be marked as dangerous, which means um, uh, in accordance with some question from uh, chat, you cannot sell uh, uh, by us uh, car uh, batteries, for example. Products need to meet the right size and weight requirements for a single unit. I mean, the maximum dimension is 60, 40, 32 centimeters. 
and cannot be more um, than 70.7 kilogram. Maximum, maximum volume is 77 almost uh, liter. And of course, uh, product, uh, product can be stored at room temperature. Um, of course, all product that you plan to hand over to us must be first verified and approved by us uh, for compliance with the criteria listed I've already mentioned. Um, and some um, information about how to join One Fulfillment by Allegro. Let me know that you want to use the service and that, that's the first point. Create and verify your One Fulfillment uh, by Allegro account. It's super easy. Choose the product you want to hand over uh, to us and let's talk about the selected list of product. Uh, we have to be sure that the products uh, uh, you uh, chosen was right. And list your offers on the new account. Create uh, an aviso, it's super easy. Uh, I mean, uh, notify us about the products you will ship to our warehouse and then uh, ship the product, uh, ship uh, the products to, to our warehouse. Of course, then sell and promote uh, your product with uh, support from our side. And let's uh, us handle the logistic. Uh, from my perspective, uh, I think I'm done. I cannot wait uh, uh, your question in live session. So, um, Emilia, are we ready? I think we are. Oh, no. <laughs> Give me just a second to switch us over to Q and A yeah. mode, then. Uh, and Cash is doing the magic, and from my side, I can say that oh, guys, you did spam us truly. So it's uh, amazing to see so many questions from all of you because first of all, it means you've been listening, and that's great. <laughs> um, so uh, it's eleven sharp, at least in Poland. Yeah, it's sharp. Uh, which gives us full 30 minutes for Q&A. Uh, I think we're going to use all of those 30 minutes. Uh, please excuse us if we don't manage to answer all of the questions. But first of all, we see that some questions were doubling. So we might not pull all the same questions uh, onto the big screen, but we will try to answer some groups of questions collectively. So if you don't see your exact question popping uh, up, don't worry, uh, we will try to take care of all the aspects. Perfect. And I think we can start with an easy one, uh, guys. Will it be possible to download the slides after the call? Well, sure. yes. If you open the email, you will get from us afterwards. So uh, you, all of you will get an email um, listing the most important bits and pieces. So also links to some uh, Allegro articles and the presentation will be attached. So pay attention to the email and make sure you download the resources. All right. Perfect. OK, I've pulled so many questions. Um, another quick one, maybe before we get to the big hitters. Uh, thanks for the presentation and the possibility to ask questions. Do you offer automatic translation services? So um, I mentioned this in my part, so maybe I'll, I'll take this one. Um, like I said, right now, you do need to prepare your offers in Polish. However, hopefully at the beginning of next year, you'll also be able to do that in English. You can already do that if you're connected to us uh, via the API. All right. And now this is going to be a bigger one. Uh, what are your expansion plans for the Central uh, European, uh, Eastern European region? This topic is crucial for our business as we are a marketplace partners for Mall Group that you bought recently. Um, Emilia, you're nodding. Do you want to take this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we know that basically this expansion is a hot topic altogether. And as I briefly mentioned, we are integrating the markets now. If you think about it, it's a big project. Uh, we bought the mall group only in April. So this is going to take some time. That means we do not have ready answers for you to share right now. The first country to roll out will be Czechia. But I see that this question comes specifically from a seller that is already on uh, the mall uh, platform. So I would say do reply to the email that you'll get from us because probably your case is quite a specific one and I wouldn't like to go into uh, such details here. In general, 
we are integrating. The first country will be Czechia. Uh, stay tuned. Watch our Allegro.eu uh, website for more news. And for now, um, yeah, we're still in the process. Yeah, exactly. What what we can basically tell you is that we are getting ready to launch an international platform. We can't tell you exactly when that's going to be because we don't know ourselves. What I can promise you is that we're working on Allegra Academy in Czech, so that's going to be exciting. All right. Uh, another important question. Is there a possibility to sell products without a, an EN code? If yes, what kind of products could be? Um, sold. We would like to sell some handmade accessories, but they do not have barcodes. So this is a question about productization, and this is um, going to be your least favorite answer, which is it depends. Uh, some categories, you do need an EN code to list your product. In some, you do not, so you will need to check that out. Um, in general, right now, to link your offer to a product, you, do, you don't need that code just yet. But what I can tell you is that it would be a good idea to take a look at getting those codes for your product, uh, because I'm not sure if that's going to be a requirement uh, in the future. Okay. And if I can add something, if you uh, yes. decide to cooperate with Fun Fulfillment, this is really crucial to, to have uh, a GS1 number um, to cooperate with us. All right. Okay. Um, could you give some sort of indication on the e-commerce numbers for 2022 so far? Is Allegro, is an Allegro customer affected by the current inflation rates and cost of living crisis? Uh, Emilia, could you take it? And I'll just yeah. add a little link for sure. all of you guys. So uh, in general, we cannot give you our like Allegro numbers uh, when it comes to sales, etc. Uh, we can tell you a bit about trends, and this is actually the topic I've been exploring recently, uh, looking at the Polish e-commerce market in general. So based on this year's reports, uh, of course, this is a bit of a challenge because, first of all, yeah, post-COVID then the war in the Ukraine, the inflation and the Polish currency is getting weaker. So this is going to be a challenge. But according to the um, industry reports, um, the strategies that Polish consumers in general choose to tackle the situation are moving purchases online category by category. So that means that uh, some of them will probably decide that they don't need to buy certain things, but they will start buying things that they didn't uh, buy online before, which actually means that there is kind of like a promising opportunity in the sector in general, because that's how they want to handle the crisis. Uh, what we see is still growth in sales, obviously, a huge interest growing when it comes to uh, offers coming from international sellers. So this is also uh, growing all the time. In my opinion, there's still lots of opportunities waiting for you here. And yeah, the question is, are you going to try it or not? <laughs> nice answer. All right. Um... Now, Miha, we've had quite a few questions that are similar to this one. So let's just maybe group all of them together under, under this one. I've tried to start our partnership with Unfulfillment with a German VAT uh, number, but it was impossible. Are uh, any other VAT numbers other than the Polish one being supported now? Yes, that's true. Uh, if you want to cooperate with us and if you want to search your products, uh, your merchandise here, you need to have a Polish VAT number. Uh, there is no other option but we can help you uh, how to get it how to achieve uh, we will send you the right link to a service network provider and there is a lot of information who can help you yeah exactly the the service provider network is a really good tool you guys uh you can find the exact company that fits your criteria there are more budget friendly options more you know luxurious options if you want um and there's always a quick description about each company uh so you can find out if they meet your needs before you even contact them and just remind you that uh, this is completely different situation you can uh, ship your product from Germany and you don't need to have uh, 
uh, Polish VIT number, but if you and you can start uh, cooperating with Allegro generally, but if you want to to join here, you need to have it. So guys, maybe it's just a couple of more sentences to that because I'm not sure whether this was uh, strongly highlighted during today's meeting. To every to anyone wondering whether they can use their international warehouses, yes, yes. Yes, you have a full flexibility uh, when it comes to deciding on your delivery model. If you want to ship your products from an international warehouse, you can do it. If you want to use a third party fulfillment solution in another country, you can do it. If you want to use another third party fulfillment solution in Poland, you can do it. You can use Allegro One Fulfillment. The decision is yours to make. The things that we want you to make sure that you take them into consideration are the fact that delivery time will have a huge impact on your potential of success. Uh, and fulfillment solutions such as Allegro's fulfillment come with additional bits and pieces, features, post-sales, customer service, solutions, and so on. And all of that provides additional benefits. But at the end of the day, you decide what you want to do and you are in charge of handling your orders as such and making sure that the customers get them. You decide how to set it up. Exactly. We created the one fulfillment service to make it you know, convenient and easy for you guys because you asked for it for a long time and we really wanted to provide it. It's not obligatory, Michał, cover your ears, but it is, it is a, you know, an option that we want to provide for you guys. But again, an option. All right, next question. Does a vendor have full control um, of, over their catalog and assortment? Short and long answer, yes. Um, we don't interfere with anything. Um, we want you guys to choose the assortment that you want to sell. We're not going to tell you that you can or cannot sell anything just because. Um, so, yeah. Um, you have full Make control. Make sure you adhere to our terms and conditions. That's the only rule. Yeah, obviously. Obviously, uh, but yeah, whether you want to uh, just start with a few SKUs and see how that goes, or you want to start with your full assortment, all up to you. All right. Uh, okay. What official documents are needed to register as a new official vendor? I'm guessing that's a seller, right? An official seller on the platform. Yes. Yeah. So in general, uh, I think that Kasia is trying to pull up a link for you. We'll see whether this is going to work to put it to, uh, put, to put another one on the screen. Yeah, let's see if um, that's possible. There, there are different requirements uh, depending on whether you are within the EA or outside of um, EU. Uh, we have articles in our Allegro Help Center listing all the documents needed for verification. So uh, if Kasia makes it to put it up on the screen, you will be able to click on it uh, through the screen. If not, Kasia, I think we can just paste the links in the chat. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me just a second and, and I'll get it done. Um, let me maybe pull up another question yeah. for you guys so you can answer it while I do a little bit of magic. Um, let's see which one is going to be a good one. Maybe this one. Okay, what are the most performing categories on Allegro? A hot topic again. Uh, it depends really uh, what metrics we look at, uh, but in general, uh, if we think about the best performing categories, home and garden is always on the top. Electronics is always on the top. Automotive turned out to be uh, quite a strong one, I think this year. Um, health and beauty as well, but it actually depends on the metrics you look at because in some categories the products will be more expensive so selling fewer quantities will generate more gmv whereas other categories will show huge growth in terms of quantities it for example supermarket but these uh, products will be maybe less expensive but we see an overall growth throughout all allegro categories and so uh, yeah the floor is yours just come and show your products. Yeah, since I'm working still, anything we can say about the popular products on fulfillment? Yeah, it's the same uh, like mm -hmm. in general Allegro platform. So the, the most important is home and garden, electronic and automotive. Uh, so 
completely. Well, it, it looks like I can only replace uh, the little banner that we've got at the top. So um, I'll just put this one up uh, here for a sec. I'll switch it back and then I'll add the links to our two articles about registration, depending if uh, on if you're a European seller on a, uh, or a non-European seller. I'll just put them in the chat uh, box for you guys. All right. And while Kasia is pulling up another question, just an important thing, do read those articles because... Hmm. Providing all the documents at once will make the whole process much shorter. Our payment service providers will need to verify those documents. So if you attach just one out of three that are needed, they will need to get back to you and you will need to add them again. So read the articles, add everything at once, and everything will go much, much faster. All right, another question. Mm -hmm. Nice and simple one. What's our pricing model? Commission, monthly fee, other costs? So that was covered uh, actually by uh, me. No registration fees, no listing fees in most categories. Commission fees are dependent on categories and subcategories. And you will get a link to the appendix with those fees and to a fee calculator in the follow-up email after the call. Yes, so you can uh, two it. things to add. Uh, one, I already added a link to the fee calculator in the chat for you guys. That was at the beginning. So, you know, it's buried that under 100 questions by now, but it is there if you want to find it quickly. Uh, another thing that is a totally new fee that you guys should remember about um, is a one what a fee. Uh, per each offer that you sell. And this is something that can be avoided if you've got one of our subscription plans. So these plans are optional. However, right now, I would say it pays off uh, even more to get them because you can avoid that fee. So usually there is a one what a fee per each offer that you sell. Uh, but again, you can skip it if you've got this subscription model, uh, if you've got this subscription plan. So hopefully this um, answered that for you. Uh, also, this is a general question, but I think there are a few little details that we can add to, to a few topics just to kind of sum it up. Uh, so fulfillment and logistics services we provide covered that. You guys can use your own. If you are a seller in Poland, you can uh, use Allegro's contracts. Uh, with different carriers. So even if you don't use our fulfillment service, you can use our contracts uh, to basically send products to our customers. You can, of course, use our fulfillment service. Uh, or if you don't want to use any of that, you can also use the service provider network and then uh, look for the logistics companies there. Uh, when it comes to payment and return policies, I've seen one other question asking about returns on Allegro. Uh, what you need to remember is that because this is a mainly Polish marketplace still, and you sell to Polish people, this is Allegro.pl right now, um, you do need to comply with the Polish law. When it comes to returns, the buyer has 14 days from the moment they receive their parcel to decide that for any reason uh, they would like to return it. And by law, you need to accept that, okay? Obviously, that doesn't uh, work with products that, you know, um, are, that you break the seal if you open it or anything like that. But uh, for the most part, that's going to be 14 days. And what countries uh, are we able to work on? You can already sell to customers from uh, all uh, the countries in the European Union. Uh, and you can join us from anywhere. So hopefully that answers that question. Okay. Um, oh, this is an interesting one. Who owns Allegro? Is it an independent enterprise? How is the owner share? I hear silence. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, you guys, we are a publicly traded company. If you want, uh, you can go to allegro.eu. And this is where you'll check pretty much everything about um, our company. You can check who owns the platform, who owns the company. Uh, you can check our financial resort, uh, results for the year, for the quarter. Everything and anything that you need is going to be there. Allegro.eu. This is, this is where you can find it. It's probably best to go there because it's a big question to answer in a Q&A. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Emilia, could you take this one while I play with the banners that we've got okay yeah sure do you collect the duties and taxes from the buyer or as a uk-based company do we have to arrange a collection of duties um it, yeah well um so here you're 
probably referring to services of one-stop shop. So the, the, the answer to this question is that Allegro did not opt in for one-stop shop. So that's something you need to look into. Um, I would recommend uh, to you to reply to the email you'll get after the webinar so that I can send you some uh, links to some articles on the uh, yeah current um, policies, so to speak, general uh, general uh, information. Because if you would like to deep dive into these topics, you would need to take this to tax advisory companies. We will not be able to advise you on tax and customs as Allegra. So if you need some direction where to go, either check the SPN website that you will uh, find the link in the presentation to, or reply to the email you'll get and I will send you some links to follow. Perfect. Okay, next question. Um, do you offer a Polish customer support for foreign sellers? Uh, I'm guessing you mean if we can help you with customer service uh, when it comes to Polish customers. If you join One Fulfillment, then yes. Uh, but also, uh, we do have automatic translation in the message center. So you don't need to worry. Your team doesn't need to speak Polish. Uh, it makes it way easier because we know how automatic translation can be sometimes. Uh, but you don't need that Polish customer support because you can contact your customers in English, for example, um, and then they can just click a button and translate the message and vice versa. If they message you in Polish, you can just click a button uh, and that message is going to be uh, translated for you. Okay, fulfillment question, finally. Uh, we produce high quality car batteries in Italy. Can your fulfillment center help with parcel deliveries? Unfortunately, no. For now, we cannot handle this type of products. Okay. Um, okay, a uh, question about promotion tools. How important are sponsored product ads? How can they be booked and managed? Uh, Emilia, you want to talk about ads or should I talk yeah, about ads? Sure. Um, this is basically a huge topic, first of all. So we are going to just highlight it. Um, advertising on Allegro, if you ask me, is a really interesting topic because first of all, the, um, the, the, the payment model is pay per click. So you can actually decide how much money you would like to invest into that. If you want to want our algorithm to design campaigns for you, you can do it, but you also can design your own campaigns and then you can analyze keywords and uh, put the you know, prices that you want to have there and so on. So you can really deep dive into uh, the topic and decide on the money you want to put into that. The nice thing about advertising on Allegro is the fact that Allegro ads are shown contextually in the most strategic places on the platform, both on desktop and on mobile. So that would be, for example, first two offers on the listing or uh, to the left-hand side so where the filters are. And they are shown to the buyers who have exhibited behavior that show you uh, they have the potential to buy products from you. Uh, if you reply to the email after the webinar, I can also send you some more resources because we could probably spend two more hours talking about ads only here. <laughs> All right. Uh, question that I'm going to combine with uh, another one that is similar. Is it possible to sell Italian wines? This is a sad one. This is a very sad one because unfortunately you cannot sell alcohol on Allegro. Um, not that unfortunately. That's not the same in Czechia. So next year when we launch that international platform and you want to sell to our Czech customers, you will be able to. And then I'll probably move to Czechia to be able to buy those wines. Um, there was another question. Is it possible to sell used items? Yes, uh, no problem there. Uh, they're not going to be as visible because new products have a higher visibility on the platform. But in some categories, uh, specific, in some ca specific categories, used items are super, super popular. In automotive, for example, um, there's a lot of used products that sell really well. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, you can do that. And of course, uh, in one fulfillment, there is no possibility to, to sell mm. used products. They, they have to be uh, brand new. 
Perfect. Okay. Um, simple question, I think, but let's answer it. Uh, if we use one fulfillment by Allegro, is Allegro then in charge of customer service? Can you tell us a bit more in detail, Miha, what sort of questions you would take and what sort of questions you wouldn't take? Yes, yes of course. There's two types of uh, question and uh, every question in accordance with logistic process uh, uh, we will cover and whole question about your products. I mean, the uh, characteristic uh, things, parameters and other things is on your site. That's all. All right. Uh, guys, a few questions about payouts. So let's maybe talk about that topic, huh? How, many t uh, how much time does it take for a uh, payout uh, after a sale? Emilia, me or you? Uh, you take it. Okay. I'm looking at some other questions in the meantime. Sure. When it comes to payouts, uh, here's what you need to know. Usually they happen once a month, okay? Um, if... Uh, and here, correct me if I'm wrong, Emilia, but I think if you've got more than uh, 4,000 what on your account, then you can uh, pay out, uh, you can make a payout immediately. So then you can have it uh, more often. But usually the rule for international sellers is once a month. OK, um, now. Uh, those payouts are going to be in Polar's water because I already saw some questions about that as well. Our customers pay in Polar's water um, and this is how you get uh, those payouts into your account. Okay. Uh, let's see. Regarding smart, can one join the program if they send parts of your products via one fulfillment and the rest of the products from the warehouse in Romania? Good question. Uh, yes, and this is something that you can definitely do. You don't need to send all your products to one fulfillment. You can send your best sellers there because you know that they're going to just fly off the shelf. Um, and then you can send, uh, send the rest from anywhere else. Uh, if you want to join Smart, you can just join with a few offers. You don't need to join with all of them because basically um, each individual offer has to fill cent uh, meet cent uh, certain requirements to be able to join Smart anyway. So uh, it's not like you're going to get Smart on all your offers immediately. You can get it on some of them. Uh, so this is something that you can definitely do. Okay, so many. Right, uh, so uh, yes. search for something, um, something uh, interesting, but I see some questions repeating themselves all the time. So maybe like me, uh, let me quickly um, Go for something Perfect. for Polish uh, for in order to use one fulfillment by Allegro. Yes, you need to have the Polish VAT number. And the thing is, this is an EU-wide regulation. Wherever you store your goods, that's where you need to have the VAT number. If you've got your stock in Germany, you would be required to have a German uh, VAT number. Because Allegro One Fulfillment is in Poland, you need to have Polish VAT number. This is, this is regulated by law, not by us. It is not possible to have One Fulfillment without Polish VAT. Um, then I see still questions coming about individual registration processes, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, again, Kasia pulled up the uh, contact form to the screen. So at the top, you've got this contact our onboarding team here with the orange yellow wish button. Click on it, fill in the form, and this will go straight through to the team because I see there are many people who have some questions. So these questions will have to be distributed uh, across different Allegro colleagues. They yeah, will. and, and uh, I've seen a few questions from you guys saying that uh, you tried to contact that team and you've had some trouble. Sorry for that, first of all. Uh, second of all, I will pull up all the chat records after the webinar, okay? I will check that out. Uh, I've got your guys' email addresses. So if we see um, that some of you have uh, contacted us and you're having trouble, uh, I promise that we will contact those teams that have been in contact with you and we'll ask them to uh, reply to you as quickly as possible, okay? Uh, we're not going to answer all the questions during the Q&A right now because that would take too much time and we don't know your individual story. But what I can promise you is that I will take a look at your email addresses, at what you've sent us um, and just send uh, messages to our teams to make sure that they take care of you as well as they can, okay? 
interesting. Exactly. And again, I see one uh, other question about a thing that I already mentioned, one-stop shop. No, Allegro did not opt in for one-stop shop. This is a very important thing. If you've got any doubts about it, you can reply to the email you, you, you will get after the webinar. I can send you some articles from our help center, but we do not provide one-stop shop service. All right. Um, I think we've got time for two more questions. So this is going to be one of them, I've decided. Um, how will returns be handled if we don't use Allegro's fulfillment service and just send the products from Germany right to the customer? Will the customer send it back to Allegro or to us in Germany? So this is something that we don't really... Um, we don't really influence, right? We, we don't really interfere with your uh, delivery process if you're not in one fulfillment. So this is something that you need to decide. We're not going to be able to just take your returns to one fulfillment if you don't store your goods there. So um, if you send your products from Germany, then you can ask customers to send them back to Germany. It can be at their cost or at your cost. This is something that you can decide. Uh, if you've got... I don't know, a smaller warehouse somewhere in Poland or anywhere close, you can also handle returns there. That is all up to you. You control that uh, so you can decide yourself. Okay, well, maybe a quick one before before the last one. Do you have warehouses outside of Poland, Michal? Yes, we have actually in Czech yeah? Republic, uh, but we are going to allow you to use it uh, uh, next year, I guess. There you go. That's cool. I didn't know that's something new. I learned something today. That's great. <laughs> Guys, do we uh do we take uh, one more or are we wrapping up? Uh you know what? I see repeats. Um maybe this is a quick one. How much uh is the advertising fee for visibility of products to customers on the platform? It's complicated, but I'll give you a quick answer. Depends on the uh, option that you choose. When it comes to Allegro ads, this is something that Amelia mentioned. You can create those paid advertising campaigns. Uh, you pay per click. And this is, you set up a budget for the day. Uh, and within that budget, we get as many clicks for you as possible. And you set the maximum click price. This is how that works. And we give you recommendations on, on what we think is going to perform best for you. Uh, in other options, it depends. Uh, sometimes you pay up front. Sometimes it's an additional commission fee. Um, it is going to be based on the option that you choose. Right now, for example, for Black Week, uh, you pay an additional commission fee if you join uh, the campaign. Okay, so that's the way that works. And I think we're right on time, you guys. Yeah. So let me just close it. Uh, first of all, guys, thank you ever so much for joining. There were so many of you and the questions just flooded us completely, uh, which is great. So to make sure that you all get answers to your questions, remember, Michal is the person who talks about one fulfillment and this team works on fulfillment services. If you've got any questions about fulfillment services, contact the one fulfillment team directly through the email you will get in the follow up email or through the form on the website. If you've got some very specific questions, feel free to reply to the email you'll get. Other than that, Kasia, like she said, will also look at some of the individual uh, cases and you will get all the helpful resources afterwards. So on our side, well, I'm very happy and thank you all. Thank, thank you. you so much, you guys. Uh, have a great day today and hopefully we'll see you soon on Lecro. See you. Bye-bye.